Good morning. Today is a very exciting day for me. We do have our first prenatal doctor's appointment today. Um, I'm really excited. So before we leave, I'm gonna make my husband some coffee. I'm gonna sip on this because I'm feeling queasy and nauseous already. And then we're gonna head on out the door. Babe, you taste your coffee yet? Um, I just cracked the lid open and I'm about to see what's happening. All right, let's see. All right, let's see what we got. Well, wait, I thought it was hot, so let me, let me go to get a redo. It is hot. It is hot. But it's good. Yeah. What's going on right now is we getting the kids some breakfast. Um, I think Mia wanted a two butter biscuits Ashley wanted a butter biscuit and Brielle wanted blueberry biscuits um my wife is gonna get something else right now she's not feeling to the 100 standard you know what I'm saying we got the little baby doing a little bit of work on her right now you know what I'm saying but I think I know what to do to get this done um today we do have an appointment uh at the doctor's office to see what's going on with uh actually this is our first appointment so it's gonna be great it's gonna be great well, everybody has eaten. We are now just pulled up to the doctor's office. So we're about to go in and get started. Um, well, wait for them to call us to the back. I already checked in online, so I'm so excited. Let's go. Ashley, how you feeling? You excited? Tinky Pooh, how you feel? Um, I feel nervous for you because I'm just like kind of nervous. I'm nervous to see what the doctor says. I can't wait to see the little baby. All right, guys, so I know I was supposed to come back on here after I got out of my daughter's appointment. Husband, stop. Husband. Oh, my goodness. My husband is so funny, y'all. <laughs> Babe, get down. Your son's looking at you. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back. So... After we left out the doctor's appointment, things got busy. I had to go to the store and get some stuff to cook dinner. And then I had to call my supervisor because even though my power's back on, I still don't have internet service to work because I am a work from home, stay at home mom. So anyway, nonetheless, the doctor's appointment went great. Part of it was not like what I expected to be, um, which was the fact that um, I don't know why they like to ask like when was your last menstrual when they know they're going to go off of the size of the baby on the ultrasound sometimes it's just frustrating because when you really think you're a certain amount of weeks along and you're like okay like you're counting down the weeks to your to you're out of that first trimester like you're over that hump if you know what I mean just for them to like push you a week back so um they ended up pushing me a week back which I was just like <sighs> seriously so we still are due in um next summer and um my main concern was just hearing the um just hearing um our baby's heartbeat and just hearing that moment because um I was just a little bit on edge regarding that and that's a different video for a different day that I will talk about that was pretty much it we just went over like statistics on when the exact due date is and they're not going to change it and I just went on just kind of like briefly about what type of birth I would like because I'm like kind of like working towards the type of birth plan I want because the last birth that that I had with SHA three years ago turned into a cesarean that I did not want that we did not plan everything went pretty good I'm excited. My husband is excited. The kids are excited. Obviously, we took the kids with us. They were very excited. That was their first time going. Um, so the next appointment that we go to, we're going to decide whether or not we want to do one of, I think it's called the M21 or something like that, genetic testing or something like that. And then there's another test that we can do if we want to know the gender. I'm still talking to my husband about that to see if that's what he want to do. Because before we never did that, we always wait into the anatomy scan to find out what that gender is, what the baby's gender is. So we're still talking about that and what we're going to do about that. Other than that, that is it. I will give you guys another video on symptoms being pregnant in your 30s because baby... <laughs> 
because I don't want this video to be too long. So I love you, bestie, and I will see y'all in the next video.